Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, welcome to our channel. This is Empress Meek and I'm here to drop some gems of love and light on your path. Um, thank you guys for all you do for our channel. Thank you for your like, shares, and subscribes. And um, let's go ahead and dive in. Long time no see, guys. I'm sorry it's been so long since I recorded for you, but thank you for loving me and thank you for still supporting the channel. So let's go ahead and try to plant some seeds over here of love, light, and spiritual wisdom and guidance, okay? What you're looking at is your premeditative shuffle. These videos are for all signs, all placements. These are general messages. So if it resonates with you, my love, then it probably will be your message, okay? Um, but don't try to make it fit. You can get a personal reading from me from um, by booking it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. Spirit, thank you so much for bringing me here with my collective family, all signs, all placements. We thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow, and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Thank you so much for blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness. We only draw from your divine realm of love, light, spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and protection. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. So this first card is the move card here. I feel like somebody is thinking about making a move, maybe in love. Somebody um, maybe needs to come out of their shell. You have your heart protected, but I feel like maybe it's a need for you to make a move. Maybe lower your guard a little bit, open up your heart and be receptive to love. Um, also, somebody could be really making a physical move, okay? Um, but I feel like this has something to do with thinking about making a move in love. But we have rest and reconsider here at the end of the deck and then nurture as the overall energy and heart chakra. So I feel like somebody may need to heal first before they make this decision. I feel like something may be hidden from you. I feel like you need to get in your intuitive energy to be able to see through this. This is what I see here and the energy that I'm getting from all of these cards is there's a need for you to pull back your energy and nurture yourself. Maybe this is not the brightest idea or maybe this is not the best move to make. All right, so we have seek the truth here. Um, when I look at this card, I'm seeing that you are having your guard up. Maybe you're thinking about exploring an option, but you need to know the truth about this person, place, or thing. This could be work, love, or life, and these are general messages. So, baby, if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, leave the rest for somebody else and just take what resonates for you, okay? Um, if you want a personal reading, you can book one at closer the number to mydestiny.com, okay? So seek the truth here. Um, and with this picture, it's funny because it's always the saying is, it's your side, their side, and the truth, okay? So I see this person here in the middle. Somebody here is saying one thing. Somebody here believes another thing, but the truth is still here. So Spirit wants you to seek the truth. Maybe ask the proper questions. Do a little bit of investigating before you decide to move forward in this situation. Something is being hidden from you, okay? We also have here magician. So this could have something to do with the air sign, a water sign, or an earth sign here. All right, we got manifesting the magician. So I feel like you are balancing. You're bringing all your dreams to a reality right now. Um, there's a lot of things that you have on the table and a lot of things that you are um, accomplishing. Not only that, you're focused right now and you're trying to do your best to manifest your dreams. So I feel like the time for distraction is not now. All right, you don't have time for anything coming and interfering in anything that you're doing because your creative energy is at an all-time high and it's working. All right, so you're bringing in your heart's desire here. All right, but I feel like in this particular situation, you're manifesting this and you're asking for this, but there may be a need for you to rest and reconsider. Um, with this rest and reconsider card, maybe pull back your energy, spend some time alone. You're overthinking this situation, and I feel like there are are details that you're missing, all right, because you want this thing so bad. And this could be work, love, or life, okay? So take it how it resonates. We're going to definitely clarify this energy to see what else is here, okay? We have nurture at the bottom of the deck and heart chakra. And then we have flow underneath that. So I feel like there's a need for you to let these emotions and feelings flow naturally. Spirit doesn't want you to try to come, um, 
to control the situation or manipulate the energy. Spirit wants you to let this thing flow because there is something you're going to learn from this. And there's a need for the truth to be revealed. So that is going to take time for um, four in order to have this um, happily ever after type of energy surrounding you. You need to balance your heart chakra. There's a need to heal here. How to balance your heart chakra? Well, take some time to yourself. Speak positive affirmations over yourself. And you have to change the way you're thinking about your situation, okay? And for flow, we have a number 10 at the top. So this is manifestation energy. I feel like it's a necessary thing for you to let things naturally flow to you. Um, don't try to change anything, okay? Somebody could be crying here. This tissue just fell down out of nowhere. It fell on the ground. So somebody could need to clean up their mess, um, maybe dry their tears. Spirit is trying to tell you to not overthink this thing. You need to heal and let this flow naturally. Nurture yourself. All right. So I'm feeling dry your tears. Wipe your eyes. Don't worry. Don't be discouraged. Things are going to work out in the long run. Okay. So it's a need for you to nurture. And I feel like Spirit is trying to nurture you. At this time when you feel like things aren't working out or you may feel lonely or afraid or whatever this energy is, okay? Let's clarify here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, clarify this message for my collective family, all signs, all placements. What is this message telling them with the move card? What is this move about? All right, so somebody may feel like they need to move. There's a lot of options. Somebody needs to make a decision here. This could be for a Virgo. There are, this is the five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So somebody may be trying to work or they feel like they're out, they're left out of work. So somebody here may need to find work. Also, somebody here may need to find a place to stay. Um, I feel like something is not working here in somebody, on somebody's behalf. There's confusion and there's a lot of options here and somebody needs to be very careful what they choose. So somebody may be leaving a living situation behind, um, but this situation is calling for someone to take their time and be very careful what they decide in making this move, okay? It's a need to seek the truth here. Show me seek the truth. Yeah, there's something about a toxic situation. Um, so somebody may need to leave somebody out in the cold because of just confusion. Um, the devil energy, some type of toxic tie, some type of obsession that somebody has for someone. Or this could talk about addiction, um, things like that. But it's a need for you to seek the truth regarding a situation, maybe a relationship with someone. Capricorn could be significant here. Then we have water signs here with the seven of cups. Page of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there's a lack of information here. The Page of Swords in the upright is somebody who is seeking the answers, looking for information, um, a student, somebody who is learning. Um, so maybe there is something that somebody needs to rest and reconsider about. Somebody feels like they don't have the information that they need. Maybe somebody needs to rest and reconsider getting to know someone here with the Page of Swords. It's something here about rest and reconsider and it fell right on, I mean, the Page of Swords in reverse fell right on top of that. Yeah, I feel like there is something that is unfinished, um, abandoned. So maybe somebody needs to rest and reconsider a situation or a move that they're about to make, okay? Something that you may need to abandon the page of swords in reverse. Don't seek any more about this. Let this go. Why is the why is the page of swords in reverse? Holding on to something. Holding on to people, places, and things. Spirit is saying this is just going to cause you more confusion. So maybe this is something that you need to let go of. Um, there's arguing, a conflict here, confusion. Somebody's bringing you um, about this situation. 
So there's something that you want to do and there's something that you're determined to do. And you're trying to bring this in, but Spirit is saying it's time for you to reconsider. We're going to find out more, but right now, this is what we're finding out about this. We're going to pull some different cards. So show me clearly about this devil energy. Why is this here? Okay, so there's some type of connection. So somebody is very sad. They're going to have to move. They didn't want to let this go, but they're going to have to move. Somebody is losing work here. They're losing money. They're not going to be able to stay in this situation, and it's a lot of confusion. I feel like somebody also could be getting high, smoking weed or something. They have some type of addictions. They're just taking a big loss right now. All right, so Spirit is saying, if you're considering going toward this person, this is something that you need to rest and reconsider, okay? Somebody here is very sad. I feel like somebody is, is experiencing emotional hardships. Somebody is feeling heartbroken. They could feel like they're stagnant. There's some stagnancy right now. They're running out of ideas. They don't know what to do. Um, cause somebody wants this relationship or this connection, somebody could feel overburdened or something like that, but there is, there is some type of stagnancy here. This person has ran out of options and they don't know what to do. I feel like this person is working hard and the harder they're working, the more they're losing money. Um, I also feel like now they feel like they have to move here. It's a lot of confusion and they haven't been making the wisest de decisions. Um, I feel like there are options here. Also, it could be people. So whatever you're considering doing with this person moving forward, you need to stop doing it. I feel like somebody could be leaving somebody else out in the cold. Or somebody is about to be left in the cold. Show me this creative block. Wow. Ten of swords. So somebody feels betrayed here. Somebody is like, I'm all out of options. I don't have any other choice. I have to leave this situation it is not the best situation for me. I'm losing in this situation. So somebody's realizing the longer they stay in something, the more money they're going to lose, the more confusion is going to come about it. And this person is working hard trying to come up with a better option. Show me the manifest manifesting. Okay. I just saw the, um, I just saw a queen of, of pentacles and I also see somebody trying to get away with something. All right. And then we have another Virgo here. So this could be a male or female energy. Somebody here feeling left out in the cold because of confusion or something like that. Show me judgment. Okay, somebody discovered that somebody had somebody else on the side. Somebody discovered that there was a Sagittarius energy that came and interfered in a situation. Somebody man, um, manipulated a situation or they're manipulating. Instead of them wanting to be serious and just looking for some fun. The world. Somebody is ending something here. Something is coming to an end. What's the world spirit? So somebody is deciding not to reconcile with somebody. This is what spirit wants you to do. Time to make something. Time to look. So if you use your intuition, you'll see that it's time for you to end this situation. Or somebody is having to end the situation. Somebody is in hermit mode experiencing a big ending. All right. Somebody is realizing that it's time to end this situation. There is no reconciliation. Somebody is really thinking heavy about something here. Wow, and they're keeping this a secret. They're secretly waiting on some type of recognized victory, and they're all in their head about it. But I feel like Spirit is definitely guiding you away from this situation. Spirit wants you to nurture yourself. Show me one on nurture. Use your intuition here. When it comes to this person from the past, offer you a relationship or coming to offer you something or anything. Spirit is saying you might want to rest and reconsider. Something also could be coming back from the past. Somebody offering you something or they want to. Somebody wants to come back from the past and offer you a fresh start, a new relationship. Feeling sorry that they tried to manipulate it. So we got the... We got the page of cups that came out, then the magician, then the five of cups. They're sorry and they feel in despair. They feel a great loss behind what they did. So they're definitely, they're definitely feeling like they're regretting their decisions. 
somebody could be wanting you to be their counterpart. I have the Empress here, and I also saw the Emperor. Here's the Emperor. Here's the Wish card. So somebody may want to make you their counterpart, their husband or their wife. They may want to do this with you, but Spirit is saying there's a need for you to reconsider this. You want it. You could have manifested this. You could have been asking for this, but this person betrayed you, all right, with this toxic behavior. Somebody had a karmic connection and they betrayed you. So there's a need for you to seek the truth about something here. Spirit is saying, ask the right questions, ask some more, find out some more information about this. Wow. Let's see what else Spirit is trying to tell you about this energy. So here's where we get another set of cards just to see what else comes out. Let's get Spirit's advice in this. See what you need to do regarding this situation. But there is a need for somebody to seek the truth here. There's more to this story than you see. And there's a need for you to maybe rest and reconsider. Pull back your energy and reconsider this next move. All right? Spirit wants you to know that. All right. So let's see what's going to come out in with this deck. Spirit, show me clear messages for my collective loves. What is the message here? What is the advice for them in moving forward in this situation how did they move forward in this situation somebody is definitely feeling left out in the cold they have to move somebody has to move nine of wands so i feel like they are trying to have courage they're trying to keep their faith all right but spirit saying this person is broke this person is going broke they're homeless they gotta move or something like that so keep your boundaries up and keep your guards up this is love harmony relationships and alignment a choice so somebody is wanting this lover situation with you but there is definitely a catch to this so somebody's gonna try to come back and offer you something but it's only because they're falling on hard times okay so reject this energy yeah see um, they want to make things right or they want triumph. And the truth is that Ace of Wands, they just want a passionate start with you. They don't really want a full relationship. Somebody needs to work on, um, somebody is trying to be creative here and think of anything that they can do to get out of this situation. All right, so somebody is definitely in the Five of Pentacles situation. They need to move. Show me Five of Pentacles. Let's see what comes out. Seven of Cups. Again, somebody is just out of options. Somebody is looking for results here. They're hoping that you give them the clarity they need. They're hoping that they can be with you to bring more happiness in their life, more healing, um, more fun, and more success. That's what they're hoping for. Somebody wants this from you. Show me more about Manifest. The Spirit is saying it's time for you to be guarded. Somebody is trying to manifest a queen of cups. Somebody caring, compassionate, stable. Somebody that can help them bring something in. Somebody that's intuitive and has a steady flow. Page of cups in reverse. Doubt, creative blocks, and immaturity. But this person is very immature. And so somebody is not in interested. Somebody could have a child's mother that they feel is very immature. So they're unable to manifest the love and the life that they want with this person. This person is making somebody broke here. Wow, this is crazy. So I feel like somebody only wants to be with somebody for bent for their own benefit because they can use their money. Somebody is not creative. They're not ambitious. They're not doing anything. Wisdom, religion, conformity, and tradition. So there's an earth sign here that's going through this. And I feel like they're trying to be resilient here. They're trying to be courageous. All right, but you're almost at the end of this cycle, finish line ahead. So this is a message for you to keep pushing. Don't give up. You're almost through this, but it's time for you to have faith and set strong boundaries. You're going to get through this. Spirit is saying, look, somebody really, really is relying on God to see them through and give them the energy that they need. All right, because somebody else here is manipulative. They're manipulating this situation. And Spirit is saying, whatever move you're about to make, if you're thinking about moving in with this person, do not do it. Don't do it. Show me page of cups in reverse. There's a lot of doubt here. Somebody could have been trying to manifest this situation, but there's a lot of doubt here. 
Two of Cups, multiple priorities, time management, and adapting. A painful end, deep wound, betrayal, loss, and crisis. So somebody is going through a crisis situation right now. And I feel like there is somebody here, possibly an earth sign, trying to help this water sign through a crisis. This water sign is trying to get this earth sign to move with them. Spirit is saying, don't do it. And this, or either this water sign is trying to get this earth sign to come toward them, to invest in them, to help them out of a tough situation six of cups this is somebody that you were with from the past revisiting the past childhood memories and innocence so somebody is really preying on your innocence here so spirit is saying don't do it you're thinking about how things used to be but it's time for you to think about what it is now um energy action passion inspiration and adventure so you're thinking about how inspired you used to be about this person and how much drive you used to have and now you just feel a bit discouraged about everything so spirit is saying continue to rely on your faith be strong and seek the truth there's more for you to know about this person show me ace of wands energy eight of coins again this is taurus capricorn or virgo somebody is working on this but it's a need to block this. So spirit is telling you to block this out. You're ignoring the truth. It's something here. You're ignoring the truth. And spirit is saying, pay attention to what is happening because this move is not the right move. Don't make this move. Do not invest in this person. Don't give this person all of your money. This person is driving. This person is bleeding somebody's pockets. Okay. This situation is going to bleed your pockets. And somebody here is only thinking about emotional fulfillment and they're stuck in the past. Spirit is saying, rest and reconsider. It's not going to be like it was in the past. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. All right? So for our, whoever this is, it's an earth sign. I mean, it's an earth sign and a water sign. And for my earth sign, Spirit is saying, don't do this. All right? It's a need for you to reconsider because this person is going to make you go broke. This person is going to block your finances. I feel like you're thinking about moving with this person. Spirit said, don't do it. Okay. I feel like if you want, Spirit is saying you're already at 10 of cups on your own. Um, you're thinking about a happy family, but this person is thinking about having their own selfish needs met. Don't do it. Seven of wands, the need to set boundaries, challenge, competition, protection, and perseverance. All right, so you have to have perseverance to endure. You have to set your boundaries and be ready to, to knock out the competition. But I feel like when, when this is talking about you and the competition, you're thinking about this person getting somebody else. You could be thinking about you not wanting anybody to take your place in this person's life. But really, your place in this person's life is a meal ticket. And you have to see that. You have to realize that because the moment that this person has their claws in you, they're going to just betray you again. And we saw that before with the Ten of Swords. So do not make this move. This is for my water signs and my earth signs. All right. And if the energy is reversed, my water sign may have an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn coming toward them. Maybe they're going through a hard time. Um, and this doesn't really have to be a water sign, but there is somebody who has this person coming towards them and they're going through a hard time. They're going to try to come back to you. They're going to try to get your help. They're going to try to get you to extend your energy to them. Spirit is saying, do not do it. This is their karma, not yours. They're under judgment right now. Okay. So don't do this. So spirit is saying, don't do it. Four of wands, king of cups, four of coins. So somebody could be um, thinking about security told you somebody is seeing you as a meal ticket or something like that <sighs> then we have this king of cups energy that wants to come back to somebody that they're holding on to look at this ace of coins somebody is like i should have never let that person go this is for earth and water this is um a very confusing situation I'm definitely going to do another reading about this. I'm going to get more clarity on this situation. But for right now, there's a need for you to rest and reconsider. Whatever choice you're about to make, whatever move you're about to do, somebody's about to make a move. And there's a need to seek the truth and rest and reconsider because somebody is manipulating here. All right? So you guys take it how it resonates and you tell me what this is. 
but it's definitely earth and water here going through this situation okay so you guys let me know what it is all right i love you guys thank you for being here with me to get a personal reading more in depth store um more in depth and detail to your situation book your personal reading with me at closer the number two my destiny.com otherwise love thank you for liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to the channel to join our family and so i can read your energy um and i will see you on the next one i love you and i mean it all right bye